So one of the things that was mentioned in the big promo that ran with the football game is that you left a pretty good job to do this show. Could you go through sort of the thought process? Very simple thought process, right? Uh, Simon Cowell launches the X Factor, and I hear that it's coming to America, and I get on the phone with him, and we have a discussion, and then we have a meeting, and, and I convince him that I, I should be on the show with him. He buys it, right? And he says, okay, wonderful, but you know, you, you work for the competitor. And I said, okay, I'll extract myself from the competition and we'll become one and it all worked out. And so now here I am on the X Factor with Simon and also with Sony and, and running Epic Records. But yes, it was risky, calculated risk though. Would you not bet on Simon? I mean, this is, this, if you're gonna take a bet on somebody, take the bet on Simon Cowell. And so what kind of judge have you turned out to be so far? I haven't watched the show. So I don't know really how to answer that, but what I will tell you is I'm been, I think I'm honest. I try to be honest. Um, I get swayed from time to time because, you know, there are five of us. There's, there's, there's five judges. There's the four judges, myself, there's Paula Abdul, Nicole Scherzinger, and Simon Cowell. And then there's the audience, right, who there are more of them than there are us, and they can sway us. So um, I try to be honest but that that crowd can sway you man I've, I've had to go back on decisions and 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 change things and change my uh, vote a few different times because the crowd swayed me do you think the crowd relates to sort of potential popularity do you think the crowd knows what's gonna be popular and might that be what's swaying you I think I know better than they do but listen <laughs> hey they're the judge <laughs> How important is it to you that this show yields a winner who actually sells? Sells. Sells records, becomes a real star. There's more than one person that that, that can happen for, right? Yes, the winner will win $5 million. The winner will become a star. The winner will have a commercial on the Super Bowl and have all of the platforms necessary to become a big star. But then there's also those runner-ups who, who are going to be really talented people who uh, we don't know. There was Jennifer Hudson, who was not a winner on American Idol, that became an Oscar-winning superstar, right? You just never know how it's going to turn out, right? So uh, we're going to let it take its natural course, right? And we believe that we have many, many talents that are capable of winning, capable of winning the five million, capable of having uh, real careers in music, capable of selling records and being on the radio. Um, We'll see how it goes, but we feel good about it. But to sort of rephrase that, probably no one better than you has a sort of sense of what the marketplace looks like. So what kind of winner do you think would be ideal, would be the best case scenario for going out there and selling X number of records first week? You know, my approach to talent has never been that I try to find the missing, filling a void. I, I never look at it that way. I never look at it and say, this is the kind of talent that could be a huge success. I look at the people, and I look at the artists and the contestant, and I say, this guy has what it takes to be a huge star, in my opinion, and I'm going to back him. Uh, so I never know exactly how to fill the void. I just know it when I see the people. And you think you guys are going to have that kind of person? Oh, we have more than one of them. <laughs> the X Factor Two Night Premiere begins this Wednesday on Fox.